Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. Today I received my Kempi 235 ACDC machine with a welding cart to match it and a water cooler. So piece by piece I'm going to unbox it, assemble it and uh, bring you guys along for the ride. kick it off we're going to unpack the welding cart this is the p45mt so they do a small a middle sideways mounted cart and then a large cart powder coating on this thing is a textured finish uh, and it's a really good finish. Uh, the moving parts are the Kempi Orange which I really like. A little bit of damage from inside the box. I do really appreciate that it was all paper wrapped not plastic or bubble wrapped. Here's a quick shot of the instructions. Okay first things first we taking this um, M8 by 12s. Looks like there's only two of them. So the welder base just took four of the M8 by 16 bolts. I put washers on them. The instructions stated no washers, but, but because the holes are elongated, I thought it was important to put washers on them. Next up is the front wheels. The front wheels go on with four uh, M8 by 16 mil bolts. Uh, I added washers to these. The instructions ask for washers this time around too. Next step is the wheels. This requires two washers and one C-clip per side. I'm going to take the opportunity to put some grease on these axles. First washer, I'll pop the wheel on. Second washer, circlip. It looks like it has two heights. Uh, I'm putting it on the lowest height. So they want us to use a M8 by 40 bolt with a washer. And nowhere in the instructions does it say to put a nut on the back, but they have supplied four nuts and there's nothing to thread these into. The handle curves in uh, which will be towards the machine. The instructions say to fit it with these two top holes uh, above this panel over here. Um, I am in two minds whether I fit this permanently or not. Um, I don't actually use cable carriers ordinarily. And also they supply these two end caps and nowhere in the instructions does it tell you where they go. They go in these two ends here of, of the cable carrier. So assembled uh, the P45MT. Um, really nice little cart. Uh, I'm pretty spatially challenged so I can't get back for a good shot of it. Uh, I'm still unsure whether I keep the cable holder. Leftover parts are two M8 by 12 mil. And these two M6 by the looks of it, these two small ones will be used to fix the machine to the cart. These two you would use uh, if you weren't using the tilt tray uh, for gas bottle loading. You would uh, put these in these two outer holes instead of having it swivel on the one in the center. That was the feature that made me really want this welding cart. A little bit of a gimmick in application, I guess, but nice unloading action. 
uh, doesn't really help you out that much for a loading action but um, a cool idea that probably needs some refinement uh, but pretty pretty happy that uh, somebody's actually thinking about bottle loading this cart has an overall length of one meter uh, the width at the back wheels is about half a meter 500 millimeters and the width at the front is 470 uh, 470 millimeters uh, the height from the ground with the handrail at the lower setting uh, 1120 millimeters comparing that to my old cart so my old welding cart is 1050 so 1050 millimeters long and the width on this thing it's the same width front and back uh, and it's 500 wide as well same width as the Kempi cart this is the Unimig cart with the built-in water cooler uh, so I'm actually really surprised that the cart is the same dimensions given that the Unimig cart actually looks so much larger a little disappointed that there's not uh, a better solution for bottle tie down looks like they've intended to have some chain slots here and there are some holes uh, down the side of the cart there so for me i think it'll be a case of using some chain to secure the bottle on this cart i do have some other bottle restraints from some old carts that i might um, look into and i'll update you on a final video um, i really wanted to make this video because when i was looking for carts i just couldn't find any information on them uh, so I'm hoping that this video helps somebody make a decision uh, if you have just purchased a Kempi 235 and are looking at adding a cart. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. And I'm going to leave it there. I'll see you in the next one where we assemble the welder.